Hello, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the story of Rahab, the prostitute mentioned in the Bible. This story, full of twists and surprises, brings an unexpected lesson for all of us. So stay with us and don't miss the curiosity we'll reveal at the end of the video. Shall we go? Before we delve into the story of Rahab, it's important to understand the context in which she finds herself. Rahab lived in the city of Jericho, around 1400 BC, a time when the city was about to be invaded by the Israelites, led by Joshua. In this scenario, the inhabitants of Jericho were fearful of the advancing Israelite army and its miracles. Joshua then summons two soldiers from the people of Israel and gives them the mission to spy on the city of Jericho. The two spies then set off for Jericho to collect information about the local defense. They enter the city and stay at Rahab's house, a woman who worked as a prostitute. Despite her reputation, Rahab sees the opportunity to change her fate and decides to help the spies, even at the risk of being punished for treason. The soldiers then begin to gather information about the army, its quantity, and its techniques. When the authorities in Jericho discover the presence of the Hebrew spies, the king of Jericho sends soldiers to search the houses of the city's residents. They go to Rahab's house and demand that she hand over the men. However, Rahab lies and says that the spies have already left her house. After throwing the authorities off, Rahab reveals to the spies that the city is frightened, which encourages them to proceed with the invasion plan. At this moment, Rahab makes a request to the spies that, in return for her help, they spare her and her family's lives when the city is invaded. The spies agree, but set one condition, Rahab must tie a red cord in the window of her house so that all the Israelite soldiers know that this house should not be attacked. As planned, the Israelites surround Jericho and, after seven days of divine strategy, the city's walls collapse. The Israelite army invades and conquers Jericho, but, as promised, spares Rahab and her family thanks to the red cord in the window of her house. Rahab's story teaches us that, even amidst adversity, it's possible to make brave and redeeming choices. After the invasion of Jericho, Rahab and her family are taken by the Israelites and integrated into the new society. They leave behind their old life and embrace faith in God. Rahab's story shows us how someone with a controversial past can find redemption and a fresh start. Her act of courage and loyalty is rewarded with acceptance and an opportunity to start over. Rahab's story goes beyond her redemption and integration into Israelite society. In fact, she becomes a significant figure in the lineage of Jesus Christ. Rahab marries Salmon, an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, and they have a son named Boaz. Boaz marries Ruth, a Moabite, and they have a son named Obed. Obed, in turn, is the grandfather of King David, from whose lineage Jesus Christ descends. Rahab's story is a powerful lesson about redemption, faith, and courage. It demonstrates that our past does not need to define our future and that God's mercy is available to all, regardless of our prior actions. Now, as promised, here is the curiosity we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Did you know that the red cord used by Rahab is often seen as a symbol of redemption and salvation in the Judeo-Christian tradition? The red color represents the blood of the Passover lamb, a symbol of protection and salvation in the Old Testament, and later, the blood of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. This cord is a powerful reminder of how God's mercy and redemption can reach even the most unlikely. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this inspiring and surprising story. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. See you next time.